hello everyone so basically in this video we will learn about how we can create ios apps without using storyboards so far we have created so many apps in which we have built a ui using storyboards but now we will learn how we can do all that using code so basically we will use swift language to build the ui of our application so without wasting any time let's open xcode and i will create a new xcode project it will be a single user application let's name this sample and language should be swift and devices should be universal i will just create my project okay so i like to work with the simulator which is iphone success so i will just change it and if you go into deployment info which is inside general settings of our project you will found that it is main interface is main so basically we don't want to use storyboard so i will just remove it and i will keep it empty so that now i will have to code the ui myself so for that the first step is to change something in our app delegate file so in our app delegate file you can find that there is a function called did finish launching with options it is the first function which is called whenever our application starts running so in the inside this what we can do is we can do window equal to ui window and we can give a frame and it will be ui screen dot main dot bounce okay and we can do window dot make key and visible to make the window visible and then what we have to do is we have to assign a root view controller which is the first view controller which will be displayed when our app is running so what we can do is window dot root view controller equal to ui navigation controller and here we can see root view controller and we can simply give the name of the view controller that we want to launch first so the name of the view controller is view controller like this okay so it is very simple you can see that it is only a three line of code so let's try to run this app and see whether it is working for us or not so i will minimize it so that it will take the size of my screen okay let's wait till our app is starting Okay, so you can see that our app is running and it is displaying a black screen by default. So what we can do is we can easily change the color by going into our file which is view controller. First let's remove some code that we don't want. And here we can do is view dot background color equal to UI color dot white and now if you run the app you will see that the color will be automatically changed to white okay so let's wait okay so you can see that now the color is appearing to be white so what we are going to do is I will tell you how to create a simple login sign up screen by using code. We will not use storyboards. We will do this entirely using our code. Okay. So what I will do is I will change the background color by using a RGB value. So my red color value will be 61 by 255 and green will be 91 by 255 and blue will be 151 by 255 
and you can choose any value dot that you want but I like this color so I am doing this so if you run this app you will notice that it's a shade of blue and it will be it will look nice in the background okay so it is looking nice so now one more thing that we can do is the color of the status bar is black but we don't want this way so we can do is we can call a method called preferred status bar style okay and we can simply return dot light content and let's run this app again and see what change it will do to our app so you can see that it has automatically changed the top color of our status bar okay okay it's looking nice now what we will do is we will build a container view in the center of our screen which will hold three different fields that is name email and password so let's start by coding this so what we can do is inside our view did load we can call a function which is called setup views okay let's define this function setup views and inside this function first we will create a UI view okay so for UI view I will call it let input container view equal to UI view okay and here inside our function what we can do is input container view dot background color equal to UI color dot white okay and input container view dot layer dot I think I should do corner radius let's do this 30 okay input container view dot layer dot marks to rounds equal to true we have to do this so that our corner radius can actually work okay and after that what if we do is we have to actually use constraints so that our input container view will always be in the middle of our screen so for that I will tell you how you can use constraints in our code okay so for that we will do is input container view container view dot we will use center x anchor we will do this dot constraint equal to and here we will do view dot center x anchor so basically if you try to understand this code what it will do is it will it is saying that the center x of the input container view should be equal to the center x of the view container view which means the x coordinate of the view and the input container view will be same and, simi and similarly we can do that for our center y anchor okay okay this is done and now we have to assign the height and the width of the input container view so what we can do it input container view dot width anchor okay dot constraint and we will use the method which is uh, here is the method okay I'm not able to see the method okay this is the map this is the method that we are going to use and equal to it should be equal to view dot width anchor and constant would be minus 24 which basically means the width of the input container view will be equal to the length of the view oh sorry the width of the view minus 24 pixels okay and for the height we can do simply 
dot height anchor dot constraint and I can just do constant and let's make it 150 okay and these are our four different constraints that we have used but to make them active we have to use two different steps the first step is input container view dot translate auto resizing mask into constraints and we have to make this as false so that our constraints can work and also after every constraint we have to do is active equal to true this is because we have to make our constraints active okay so let's add this at the end of every constraint okay this is done and let's run this app and see how far we have come 